Scientists at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park are looking at new ways to breathe life into critically endangered animals. They're collecting samples from thousands of creatures, including rhinos teetering on the brink of extinction. John Blackstone explores what could be the last hope for a nearly doomed species. Come on, baby. Meet Chudy. This scampering baby rhino was born on Thanksgiving. His name means holiday. And he's one of 68 greater one-horned rhinos bred here at San Diego Safari Park, increasing the number of this endangered species to around 3,000 worldwide. Hi, big girl. She likes to be rubbed behind her ear there. Rubbed behind her ear. But rhino keeper Jane Kennedy keeps close watch over one in particular, this northern white rhino named Nola. When she's laying down, she likes to have a belly rub. Nola is one of just five northern white rhinos left in the world. She's almost 41. So essentially think of her like an 80, mid 80 year old woman. She's at the end of her life. Rhinos are being driven to extinction in large part because of poaching. In 2014 in South Africa alone, 1,215 were killed for their horns. The horns are prized in some cultures, mistakenly believed to be aphrodisiacs and miracle cures. The horn is made out of keratin, the same thing as your fingernails. If rhino horn cured cancer, then all you'd have to do is chew on your fingernails and there would be no more cancer in same the world. Thing. Same, same thing. Same thing. The northern white rhino's best chance for avoiding extinction might be inside this vat of liquid nitrogen at Safari Park's Frozen Zoo. It's the world's largest genetic bank with samples from some 10,000 animals, including 12 northern whites. Barbara Durant is the director of reproductive physiology. Could there be a day that because of the tissues that are stored in here that northern white rhinos could again be in the wild? That is certainly our hope and we think it's a possibility, yes. That hope hangs on a futuristic technology. It's a complex procedure where skin cells become stem cells, which then become egg and sperm necessary for in vitro fertilization. The embryo would be carried by a surrogate mother from a related species. Has this ever been done before? Certainly not in the rhino. It's been done in the mouse. I mean, is this one of those moon shots? It is, but it's, it's a, it's a well-educated and calculated moon shot. That calculation comes from a successful track record using less complex methods to help other endangered species reproduce, from giant pandas to California condors. Some critics say, why spend the money on this cutting edge science? You can take that money and save animals in the wild. There are people who are doing that. Our focus, our mission is to save these animals through science. Brittany Peet represents PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. Zoos need to focus on is improving the conditions for the animals who are already in their care, not pouring millions and millions of dollars into a futile effort to clone animals uh, for whom there is no natural habitat left on Earth. The safari park maintains their animals' well-being is paramount. Nola's health is carefully monitored. She needs regular pedicures and enjoys having her back scratched with a brush. That the fact that we have all known and loved northern white rhinos, it's a personal thing. And despite a successful breeding program, there are still few rhino calves. So Chudy's playmate is a cow named Moo Moo Kitty. It's a friendship that wouldn't happen in the wild, but it can cure some of the loneliness for an animal on the edge of extinction. And if we don't do something as a human species, our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren will never see these animals. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Escondido, California. Well, that's fascinating, the idea that you could take a frozen skin cell, transform it into a stem cell, and then have it develop into an egg or embryo that could then be put in, into a surrogate. Wow. Little chewies. I like it. Chewies. They're so cute.